Hello folks, Tom Romito, your facilitator again. In this segment, the eighth segment and last one of the strategic planning process, I'm going to talk to you briefly about fundraising planning. This is very critical to strategic planning because the financial piece has to be part of your financial, of your strategic plan. Uh, without talking about money, people are going to wonder, well, how much do they have, where do they get it, and what do they do with it? <clears throat> and so there are five steps to, to fundraising planning that I want to take you through real quickly, and here they are in fundraising. What we're going to do, first of all, is study past performance. If, you're, if you've been an organization for a week, you've had past performance in financial planning or fundraising. You've gotten your funds from somewhere, maybe from donations, maybe from grant writing, um, what we call earned income methods. All these methods have gained you money. So your past performance has worked to some degree. Maybe you're going into strategic planning because you're lacking here. This is pretty typical of organizations. They want, to do fund, they want to do strategic planning because they feel they need money. Okay, so we're going to look at what you've done in the past. We're going to evaluate donor receptiveness. Evaluate donor receptiveness. So, You've gotten money in the past from somewhere, presumably from donors, people you have solicited for donations, or maybe from you've written proposals to grant giving organizations, or maybe political entities have given you money. But you're going to, we're going to go back and evaluate how receptive those donors were to your appeals for money. For instance, the annual appeal letter is very typical of nonprofit organizations. They do it at the end of the year. They go out to a list of people asking for a donation. Well, one good thing to do is look at who has donated in the past. Those are your target uh, donors. <clears throat> the next thing we'll do is, is assess your fundraising methods. Assess methods. I just met a, mentioned a couple of them, the annual appeal letter. There, of course, are others, such as the uh, direct approach. We, the, we call it the big ask, where you go to people you know, who, are, who you believe are capable of supporting your organization financially, and just ask them. That is a method you're going to have to assess again. Then there's the grant writing. Um, Hopefully your organization has a grant writer, or will develop one, or maybe you'll go out and recruit people to, to write grants, either volunteer, voluntarily or professionally. So you'll want to assess the effectiveness of those methods in the past and how effective you think they can be now. And then we want to develop ways to maximize these methods. Well, what that means is that if you want to maximize the direct ask approach, you're going to have to train some people in your organization to go do that. That is, direct ask is not for the faint of heart. It takes a lot of courage, a lot of training, and confidence to go to people and ask them for money for your organization. But it, it can be done. But that is what you're going to have to do, is maximize methods like that. And lastly, we're going to identify fundraising targets. Identify targets. They may be the people who have given to you in the past, it's to your annual appeal. Uh, donors who have uh, given you money outright in the past from the big ask. They may be foundations who have... Um, given you money 
on the basis of your, your grant proposals. So here, here you have a list. There are five of them. One, two, three, four, five tasks or steps, if you will, in fundraising strategy, an important component of strategic planning and the last step that we will go through if necessary to help you achieve your goal. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.